What it do, beautiful world? The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and it's your boy F-I-L-I once again in the cut with another episode of Styles by Philly. On today's episode, I'm going to show you a haul from that Essence website for that Fear God Essentials exclusive colorway, those two colorways that dropped. I'm going to do a small review plus a you know color comparison and we're gonna talk about price point too because i seen something that kind of offended me but it's okay with that being said let's get into it about mine Ooh. uh it's it's paper, paper, baby. East side a lot yeah i'm about my shit right yeah all i ever wanted was to be a great Okay, so before I even get started, I did do a little sneak peek in regards to one of the pants and I didn't mention this last time and I did notice this, but what is up with this no back pocket in the pants? I'm really offended to see that Fear God Essentials has taken the back pocket off. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's something in regards to materials, if it's overhead, uh, you know, price point, but honestly, you do not realize how clutch this back pocket comes in. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys, I should have mentioned this in the previous review in regards to um, that uh, fall winter um, drop that they did, you know, with the harvest and the pistachio and, and, and the amber, um, but same thing on these pants. So let's take a look at it. I don't know what, is going on in this pile right now so i'm gonna take each piece bit by bit and show you guys what's going on so from what i see here the first thing i got right here is the concrete in a size medium and i believe this is a sweatpants so let's take a look at this okay okay i'm feeling this so this concrete is pretty dope i actually like it you know it's uh when you think about concrete you obviously think about you know a gray or you know again like cement uh but it's very interesting that this has a green tint to it um if you were to do a color comparison with this concrete color you would say this is uh in between this alfalfa sage and the pistachio color that they dropped right um i like it to be honest it looks pretty dope Again, what's going on with this no back pocket business? I do not understand it. It really bothers me because like I said, it comes really clutch when you need it, especially when you want to put your cell phone down and let's say you just don't want to put it anywhere. So boom, your back pocket it is. That way you don't forget about it, right? Now going back to color, I think it's pretty dope. You know, if you work in construction, you know that uh, concrete can turn into a bit of a green, greenish color. Um, if you guys feel me on that, I don't know if you guys were construction or not or ever tried laying down some concrete somewhere, you know what I'm saying? A little slab there, here and there, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's see what else we got. Uh, okay, this is the linen, and this is the sweatpants also. I was kind of hyped to see what's going on with this sweatpants colorway, to be honest. Um, pretty dope. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's a beige, you know, on Essence website, they called it beige. Uh, but if you see the color... Um, in regards to details, you would see that it says linen. Same with the concrete, it said green. And in the color way, it said um, concrete. Pretty dope, you know, I like it. It has this uh, this uh, khaki color feel to it. Uh, I don't mind it, to be honest. I think I can pair these off with a few things uh, that, that's already in my closet when it comes to essentials. And you know what? I think at this point, we're just making J. Lorenzo and the Fear God team really, really rich for everyone to drive some Benzos and Ferraris because you know, the colorways do look the same, but you know what? I don't mind supporting. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I think they're a good replacement for, you know, other colors that you couldn't cop. Again, it's gonna be interesting to see how this hits in different lighting. I'm gonna compare it to other colorways, kind of like the the olive. Um, I don't know what other light colors I have, but we'll definitely put them together uh, so you guys can see. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I forgot. So with this drop, uh, what ended up coming out was, I believe, t-shirts, uh, mock necks, knits, hoodies. Um, there was no crew necks. Uh, track pants, uh, half zip jackets, um, sweatpants, and also shorts. And I have to get the shorts too. Everyone, you know, when the summertime hits, it's going to be key to wear shorts. And again, in the shorts also, no back pocket. Um... Again, must I express myself how offended I am in regards to this. Uh, it really, really, really sucks that they don't have these back pockets, but I guess we've got to do what we got to do. Let's look into this other one right here. I got the shorts and the linen as well. Yeah, this is the linen shorts. Pretty dope. I think this with the hoodie would go really dope. 
um, you know, it was looking pretty cool. Uh, especially with other Fear of God pieces, I think uh, matching these with the with the slides, the California slides, is gonna look dope with the almond color. Who knows? I was looking forward to this piece right here, the hoodie. You know, one thing I definitely like about this drop is that they went back to the old school logo um, where it's just, you know, plain and simple right on your left chest part. Um, pretty cool, still 3M. Oh, and let me mention something right off the bat, actually. <laughs> that I came to see through Instagram pictures and whatever, whatnot, but what is up with this baby logo on the arm? I am not feeling this. This baby logo on the, on, on the left uh sleeve close to, to to the cuff is um it's very interesting i'm not i'm not i'm not really feeling this too much uh i understand maybe they want to be subtle about it but there's something about this that just doesn't hit right uh it looks like it belongs on the kids line as opposed to the adults or the men's and women's line so i don't know i'm not really feeling it too much but you know like i said i like the fact that they went back to the old school and you know put the put the little logo on the chest i think that would have been just clean if they left it just like that you know still a dope colorway you know uh the fit looks like it's gonna be the same uh i'm definitely gonna put it on i got everything in the size medium so let's look let's see what we got here now all right so this is the concrete hoodie uh dope 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 i think this is gonna look really dope with light jeans actually i have some light jeans on right now i might even rock it right now but the this is gonna look pretty dope with some light jeans um again size medium looks like nothing has changed in regards to sizing again not a fan of this baby logo on the logo on the left sleeve but i do want to mention one thing in regards to price range, I was offended here as well because besides them not putting back pockets anymore, I noticed that for this Essence exclusive drop with the two colorways, there was a different price range for uh, both Americans and Canadians. Now, if you bought in American dollars, you notice that, you know, usually pants and hoodies are between uh, like, it's usually actually $90. And this time there was a $5 increase, which is like 95, right? But this is where it gets really interesting. Us Canadians, we actually had to pay an arm and a leg for this essentials drop. So hoodies were $165 and the sweatpants were $155. Now, if you do the math on this, and let's say you take the 165 on a hoodie and divide it by $95, if you divide that up and you get the number, you'll see that the exchange rate on this was 1.73 that is a ridiculous exchange rate and that's not even what's going on in the market when it comes to doing uh, when it comes to exchanging you know dollar to american you know the american dollar to canadian dollar um so it was very very pricey when it came to purchasing these items um it, it was a bit of a jump too on the t-shirts too i don't i don't recall what the actual price point was but it was just interesting enough to know that we went from paying like 145 or even 125 on a hoodie uh in canadian dollars to 165 uh, pretty big price jump, you know, uh, it's, it's, it, I don't know if it's because it was just exclusive to essence. Um, in regards to colorways, I really do like them, but I know a lot of people weren't a fan of the colorways, uh, just because again, it said concrete. And I know some people are trying to compare it to a drop with, uh, Nordstrom and back in the summer. Um, and that was a nice gray, by the way, but they called it pebble or something like that. And then the, the lighter color was called stone. Uh, again, if I were to compare the two colorways between Essence and Nordstrom, I'd give it up to Nordstrom. Nordstrom, you know, they have the better colorways with that. These, This colorway right here is dope too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to downplay it. But that price point was uh, an ouch for me. So continue on with the haul. I'm going to show you here right here. This is a t-shirt. So I just got basics here, you know, shorts, sweatshorts, uh, sweatpants, hoodies, t-shirts. Um... That's about it. I didn't get any of the track stuff, like the quarter zip jacket or the track pants. Uh, I don't really wear that too much. I already have enough of that, to be honest, I believe. I have that in the 3M, and I also have it in the iridescent that dropped last year, or actually two years ago. Uh, but yeah, this is a dope color. I think the tees are something that's a must cop, you know, something you could always wear. Uh, and this is the concrete in the green tee. 
pretty dope. One thing I do got to mention, I just noticed is that Fear God Essentials need to kind of start doing some more, um, you know, rev- quality control. So some more QC because right off the bat, I'm going to show you guys that there is this huge pen mark uh, marking um, the logo part. And I don't know why that is. Uh, it could be, you know, when they're putting it a print together. Um, I have no idea, but I know damn well that that's not going to come off. So it is what it is. Anyways, I just showed you guys this haul that I did. Now I'm going to put some of these pieces together and show you guys how they fit. So with that being said, let's get into this. Yeah. Philly. Nate. Yeah, you know, we're going to stop you getting mine. Nate, that's it. Yeah. About mine, uh, let's get this paper, baby. East side, a lot. Yeah. I'm by my shit, right? Yeah. All I ever wanted was to be a great musician. Yeah. Verbal compositions yeah. make the world listen. listen DJ start spinning, make the record so Scratch hot that. that they use the oven mittens. Ooh. I hear the snakes hissing, yeah. so I keep my grass cut low to keep my distance. Let my views embrace my visions. Looking out for friends that really want me missing. I love all MCs, but I'm killing competition. Yeah. Champagne sitting on ice, breathing the essence Had to go through hard times for me to learn my lessons Before we started rapping, easy money was the entrance We did some check scams with my nigga we call Texas By the way, I dress, you'd be confused what I'm addressing Lifestyles of drug deals, my own apprentice We had to move some work before we ran a session A hustler's ambition, I knew that I was destined All I ever wanted is a crib and a drop in the hills Wanted is a baddie, not a dot, keep it trill. All I ever wanted is a yacht in Ibiza. All I ever wanted is a queen like Latifah. All I ever wanted, legend status, couple Grammys, a few mil. Yeah. Maybe I need karma nights, better rest ahead. Procrastination had me doubting at my best intent. Men to come up is so great, yeah, it's so intense. These rappers have a Jesus peace, why am I not blessed? You can't question my grind, you can't question them dope. You can't question my dreams, I put my life in these quotes. Mama wanted college for me, put this rhyme gives her hope. Under up and up, all I want is positive slopes. Sit back and relax, watch the money outgrow. And these honeys, they be funny as I watch them unfold. Yeah, all natural, I am not pretentious. These words are rolling with the punches that can knock you senseless. The only shooters after me are cleaning up the lenses. I'm chilling with my ammunition, popped up out the trenches. Hope this fame shit doesn't end all of my friendships. Loyalty is royalty, that shit's not expensive. All I ever wanted is a crib and a drop in the hills. All I ever wanted is a baddie, not a dot, keep it trill. All I ever wanted is a yacht and Ibiza. All I ever wanted is a queen like Latifah. All I ever wanted, legend status, couple Grammys, yeah. a few mil. Uh. I want automatic watches sitting on my wrist. The Adam RPJ pissing off my bitch. And by that I mean life or when karma throws a fit. Because bitches try and make you fail when you wanna live. Moving on to bigger and the better, finer things. I'm just trying to live my life since they snatched away chinks. Bottles of that ace, chase it off with gin. Blowing out some Cali while chilling in the six. The artwork of Picasso sitting in the crib. Showing off this God flow, ironic that I sin. Lyrically so hostile, my verses make you flip like catching your girl. Creeping my settings make you cringe Let that sink in, rappers catch a second win Top tier the takeover, this be up my ting Pay attention when I say I'm the next to king No lies necessary, my team just want rings All I ever wanted is a crib and a drop in the hills All I ever wanted is a baddie, not a thought, keep it trill all I ever wanted is a yacht in Ibiza. All I ever wanted is a queen like Latifah. All I ever wanted, legend status, couple Grammys, a few mil. Pretty much that's it for this episode of Styles by Philly. As you can see, we talked about this exclusive Fear God Essentials Essence Drop, you know, with the two different colorways. Let me know what you guys think in regards to the colorways, how you guys feel about it. Also in the comment box below, let me know what you guys think about the price point. I know it wasn't much of a difference for Americans as it was for Canadians, but you know, it could be a little bit of debate as to what's going on there, right? Also, make sure you check out the other videos. You like, subscribe, and share. 
Also, make sure you check out your boy F.I.L.I. and his music. I've been telling you guys this is personal is out now. Make sure you make it the soundtrack to your life. And with that being said, love, peace, and happiness. Peace. Let me know in the comment box below what you guys think, you know, how you feel about the color. Also, what you think about the price point, because I know it was different for Canadians and Americans. Wasn't Mitch of a... Was Mitch? <laughs> Someone on Mitch. <laughs> I start again. <laughs> oh...